guys. So I'm really close to finishing. Where's my palette? I lost my palette. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I just thought I'd share the finishing touches. Sorry, I disappeared for a minute. So what I'm doing is I've put in a foundation of this dark color. It's Payne's Gray, olive green, black, uh, phalo blue, and yeah, that's it. Okay. And then on right now, what I'm doing is I'm going to take in some gesso because I want to lighten this as I go across here because I feel like it's just a little too dark. So while it's still damp, I'm going to bring in some light to it. And thankfully, that's what Gesso does, brings in some light. It absorbs that pretty color that it has already and just softens it. And that's what I'm trying to do is just soften it just a bit. These, I decided to go kind of dark because I was kind of going for the South Carolina coastal look that I love so much. And one of the things I loved about the beaches there is that they absorbed the color was reflected of the ocean and the skies, they were reflected in the sand. It was really pretty amazing. And I know it does that other places too, but it seemed extremely spectacular to me in the South Carolina coast. And I love lots of coasts. I'm not, I'm not partial to any of them. I love them all, but this one is sort of reminiscent of that area. So I got all excited about this painting, so I have no idea how my hair looks in the camera. <laughs> I'll be all scared to look at that later. I hope you're all having a good time out there and um, enjoying your lives, doing fun things, painting. I say take advantage, never regret never regret good times as family all right so it's going to come across here too and uh, one of the things that i personally have an issue with in my own painting is i don't like to leave the tap ends of a, a like that of a, of a stroke so i try to just after I start to lay it in, I try to just pull it across so that it doesn't leave that tap. And that's the nice thing about oil is it takes a little while to dry. So I'm going to try and get some of this light, this reflective light in here. Pulling it across. And I'm very close, I feel like, to finishing here. I'm using a pretty flat, wide brush, I'm not using the bristle brush here. The other thing I notice with myself is I tend to have a pattern of three in the way that I move my painting across. So I do try to remember to try to break that up. Oops. And then I also like to pull this rough piece across like that when it's starting to dry a little bit, gives it a nice blur and helps with the reflective quality of it. I'm gonna pull down a little bit, pull it down a little bit like this. So it helps it with the reflection quality and then just light, really hardly touching the canvas with the brush going sideways. And that is really good right there. So I'm happy with that one. So now I'm gonna come across into the middle, but always remembering, <laughs> remembering to connect it with the other piece here. There we go. 
Anyway, this is my way of keeping the color consistent throughout the painting, but having its own, oh goodness, Mr. Snickers talking to Molly. They're having a visit. Oh, and now she's all wearing too. Goodness, you guys have to wait for just a second. Yeah, I'm at a very crucial part here, guys. Oh, goodness. Okay, see, there's a nice layer of white right there. And again, I'm going to add a little more to this other corner right here. Right here, come across like that. I'm going to pull it down, pull it down, bring it across real slight, slight, there we go, gives it a nice little bit of a blur, I hope, I hope that it's doing a good thing, my goodness, they're all being whiny at me, all right guys, hang in there, I'm almost done here, I do try to keep more dark around the edges, because you kind of want your, I want my paintings to have a wraparound feel. But you're focusing right here in the middle. And I'm Molly, I know. Okay, just a second, just a second. Molly's losing her patience. And then soft, pull it across, just across, right there. I'll do a little more detail, but that's it for tonight. And I'll get some more pictures later. Hope you enjoyed, bye.